Alrighty. So let's see. Here we go. This game is actually really beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if that changed anything or not. Um, do need to bring the bring the game up, go back in though. I think that'll be good. Let's see, did it carry over my save data? It did, but I want to start a new game. Just for this stream. This game is like somewhat story driven. <clears throat> In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you, the challenge, met. Under palest watch, you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollow Nest by Monomon the Teacher. So this is just a really nice game. Them eye holes, so detailed. This is one of the few games where the cutscenes have like a little bit more lag than the actual game itself, which is very nice. I've already played through this game a little bit, and I didn't get too far, but what I did get done, I really enjoyed. It's pretty easy to get lost in this game, because you don't really start out with a very detailed map. <clears throat> Iron beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength mocks you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus soul and heal. It's a little tutorial. Um, I think up is the way out. So I want to go down here. I want to kind of go to the right. Ye. Mun. You also get something for killing the enemies a whole plethora of times in this game. Oh my. Bash. It does give you the opportunity to use focus though if you didn't get hit up until that point. So that's a decent tutorial mechanic. Yeah, 
This where you get extra health, dude. Delicious. No, my money. Dang. Oh, no. <sighs> it's possible to get out of there without taking damage if you're good. Is it? has to be possible to come back here then, because I know an ability that you can get later on in the game that'll allow you to get over there. Beings is where it's for you won't be on this planet. You enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom. All honest. Fair traveler, I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well, one by one. Into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long felt a room, yet still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hollowness, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem to talk, looks so. This is the saving mechanic of this game. Pretty neat. For all your mapping supplies, we'll be opening soon. A Zelda and Cornifer. <laughs> A stone door with a simple lock. So, that door, if you open it, allows you to, I believe, recover your lost items and stuff. Your lost self. If it does get lost. Forgotten crossroads. On now. I think you get three bits of healing early on. I'm 
Mm, this is a side quest that you can do. I forgot how sad he was in the beginning. Oh my And every time you leave a room, enemies respawn, which is a little annoying, but like, it's, it's, it's free money, so. The options of movement in this game are also really enjoyable, at least I feel, because you unlock more options the later on you get, and they can become pretty good. I've only unlocked one extra thing, so I don't know if there's more after what you get or not. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hollowness descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truth revealed. Eh. Can't do anything there. That is staccato, I believe. It's been a minute since I've used terminology. Ah. Ah. It's always good to stay at full health if there's enemies in the room that are easy to kill. Because you get healing from them. Oh, those guys fly really far after you hit. The combat in this game does get fun. It is pretty hard though, because you don't have like a way of evading, really. You just kind of gotta suck it up, not get hit. Actually, be good at the game for a hot minute. I think I know how to save him. It'll be later then. I don't know why those things are locked up. Like, there's no reason for them to be. That is portrayed in game. Oh, God. Ah, uh, Jesus. Ah, uh, oh, Billy. Okay, just run. And you get three hearts of healing, then you're out. <laughs> That's fun. Ah, dang it. There we go. Eh. No, you don't. So there's down, and then there's up. Wanna go up first? Ah. This area isn't too hard to memorize. You just gotta like know where you're going for the most part. <laughs> oh, bury my mother pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two, and then when you're done, let's bury me too. 
<laughs> Do you know that one? It's one of my f favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a b beautiful singing voice. <laughs> So what are you down here for? If you came to get wealthy, just look around. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's plenty for everyone. Just gotta pick and join in. <laughs> oh, bury the knight with a broken nail. Bury the priest. Something about a crown. I can't remember the rest of that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hum it. Yep, there you go. Oh. I didn't think that would already go up. And this is an area that I don't think I can get through quite yet. Yep. I wonder how I get through that, because I never did get through it in my own time. Uh, and I can just kind of hop on down. Oh wait, no, I gotta go up. I thought I was in the room over one. I think right takes me to a special area, yeah. Let's just go right first. Mm-hmm. hit and run play style I never really did get used to in most games that I played other than playing Echo back in the day for League A first try yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> those guys are fun to save <laughs> This game involves a lot of use of, like, the left control stick and being able to manipulate it to where you want it to go quickly. Eh, that's right. It's been forever since I played a game that used up to enter. Hello! Oh! Hello! Hello there! How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom, and the egg. Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. For so long, I felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. What a time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. Creatures are riled up and the earth crumbles. Rumbles. The air is thick. I wonder what could have brought it all about. To preserve in this room, that old nail alone just won't be enough. Though that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. Uh, did you pass that town above? What a gloomy little place, and such majesty hidden right beneath. I suppose that's why they've all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? 
truly a marvel. Mm hmm. And that's it for this place. I think this is an end game area, since this is the cutscene for the beginning. I think I'm pretty sure it is. And the game's art style is very aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> And the music is actually a very high quality. So I can go up. I didn't really get much to go up though. Like I don't even have the map guy. So I don't think his shop is open just quite yet. I need to rush down here anyways. Eh. Hmm? Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful rooms. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Yee. Card map. Hold LB to remap the current area. View detailed map. Hollow nest in the map pane of the inventory. The map can be a useful thing, but it'll, it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchase a compassing... Purchasing a compass from my wife is Zelda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. And yeah, this. Yeah. There's. Oh, so that's him down in that where the long nose is and then the boss I believe is the one with the horns so that's pretty neat I suppose I should head up see what I can get from his wife no reason not to I think I can purchase something to allow me to increase the amount of data on the maps myself from her. Kinda wanna kill excuse me. Woof. As many things as I can, really. Yeah. And we fall. Dang it. There we go. Kia. Luckily, I haven't really been spoiled by this game, or sp I haven't spoiled this game for myself. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay. Alrighty, let's see here. <sighs> Bye for nada. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but well, what a surprise, he's headed down below. We'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish you'd spend a little more time up here. Not much interest in retail myself. Now, let's see what what's here for me to sell. So there's a compass. Yeah, I definitely want the quill. Having the quill really allows you to increase your own map quality. 
And then vendor pens are pretty useful. Uh, use this pen to mark shopkeepers and other you find on your travels, or so often you should pass by and see how they're doing. I'm sure they'd like that. Actually, benches. Knowing where those are. Oh, and you can doctor. Ah, of all the places to end up, we've picked this dreary town. I thought it a temporary shop. Then my husband became obsessed with that old ruin. Now he's spending all his time down there. He argues cryptography is sound business, but other than you, who's buying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She is correct. What else? Are you enjoying yourself down in the ruins? At times my husband makes hollowness sound a wonder, but sometimes it seems a ghastly dangerous place. Of home, Sanjo. Ah, that's it. I'm gonna rest here and update my map. Oh, I have to say. Did you visit the temple? A strange building I've heard, though I never dare the journey myself. The braver among us once went there to pray, so they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. The young couple's just recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems they're running a map shop, which may excite adventurous types like yourself. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to make a larger house, especially given they're all empty, but they like the look of that one. The way she has to bend just to get through the door. I wouldn't put up with it myself. Yeah, there you go. And we head back down into the depths. Oh, I can just already do this. Where do I need to go? Uh, that's all the areas that I've already explored. Hmm. And there's still so much left. Okay. I think this up video will actually like work, and I'll upload it to YouTube. Actually, we'll hit the stop recording button and just have a Hollow Knight kind of only thing go on. So it, won't, so it isn't corrupted by other content. <laughs> but no, uh, the other two videos that it uploaded had copyrighted music since I was using Spotify at the time. And nobody else can see them, but I can see them. So that's nice. I think you have to kill a whole bunch of those flies to get their lore entries later on. There we go. And he's still down here. I wonder if we can tell him that we met his wife. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself, with just your own thoughts, you forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife, a huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels with a little luck. We'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. Mm -hmm. That's it. How are you finding my map? I try to fill out as much as I can, but every map is a work in progress. If you'd like to fill out some of the map yourself, you can purchase some mapping supplies from my wife up in Dirtmouth. We set up a little story that helped make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The easy part about the voices in this game is that they have a little bit of dialogue, so I can just set up the... Uh tone of the voice right from the beginning oh my yeah. those things in the
the background. Does something pop out? Oh well. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Ow. Oh, this is baby. Hey, what up, dude? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I need to see their dad get the uh, money. song he's singing. Bunch of money. So there are breakable walls in this game. This kind of shortcuts a little fight room, I suppose it's called. I don't want to take shortcuts. Kind of want to enjoy this game in its entirety. Next wave. Come on. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, it does shortcut it. No, you don't. Um, I want to go left. I like how he also takes out his map. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's very nicely detailed. Uh -huh. Not a whole less, a whole lot else that I can do here. Do they respawn? Yeah. Oh, it's just him, though. It's not bad. Ha! Jute, nerd. Oh! Hello. And how do I get you? Sad Paul Ryan. The Witchers 2, Assassins of Kings. All the money back. Juke. Oh, that's like it's it for this area. Mm. Lots of mosquitoes. A little secret area off to the right there. Eh. So secret, actually. Ah, yeah. See my face ripped to shreds. I just want my money, dude. Ah. 
There we go. Now this is very important to get. But I didn't read my A press. My half A press, dude. One and a half A press. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. So I can rest here. Update the map. The good stuff. And we've explored quite a bit. That's good. So we can go down and fight a couple of things. And a couple other things. A toll machine with a symbol of a stag. Insert Geo Yes. Hello. <gasps> Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much. But the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depths of Hollow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. So we can go to Dirtmouth and go to Forgotten Crossroads. I kinda wanna stop in Dirtmouth. Spend a little bit of J-O. Unskippable cutscene, which is nice. nice. Let me talk to him. <clears throat> this place, we are near the surface, I believe. There is a town here. You should take the opportunity to rest. This place is always full of travelers coming and going. It seems much quieter now. Eager to travel the stagways, just hop up upon the platform, give me the signal, and we'll soon be on our way. This voice takes a lot out of me. Oh, yeah, and that. Oh, that opens the door. I thought that called the elevator back up. I never thought I would see such a thing. The stag station is opened. That building lay silent since before even my time. Oh, I've heard the tales of the glorious lands. A web of tunnels running all through the kingdom. Not that I'll be traveling them, mind you. I'm quite content where I am. Okay. Oh, I got a, I got a massage. My boy Aiden wants to hit me up for some league. Uh, apparently, I put Steen. All right. Actually, that's a that's that's a good video length. So let's go ahead and buy vendor. I don't know stagway pins. Those are pretty important. I will go ahead and save. be it so we'll just go ahead and do it like this but we'll stop recording here and we'll continue at another time we're gonna play some league for on the stream now so that's that